Today we're going to be looking at Slay the Spire, more specifically ranking the top 10 relics for the Ironclad in Slay the Spire. Uh, almost all of these are attainable uh, pretty much after your first run. And without further ado, let's get into it. First off, we have the Vi Va 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 the Vira, maybe. Anyway, it's a common relic. You can find this pretty easily. Uh, you start each combat with one strength. Uh, it was an ornamental relic given to the warriors displaying glory in battle, and it will do just that, I promise you. The Vira can make a really, really good strength run uh, straight off the bat. Next up, we're looking at the Bag of Marbles, another common relic. Uh, at the start of each combat, apply one vulnerable to all enemies. This is a really easy way to go ahead and get your foot in the door. Uh, mix this with the Vira, especially, then you have a strength with everyone having a vulnerable. You're looking at doing significant damage on first turn. Uh, the Bag of Marbles is always, always, always a good pickup. Next up, we have the Pin Nib. Uh, for every 10th attack you play, it deals double damage. Uh, this relic is also common, so pretty fairly good chance of finding it. Um, this is a wonderful, wonderful relic. Uh, you will kind of forget that it's happening, but it'll pop up with a little reminder letting you know, hey, next attack, you're going to be doing double damage, uh, which is always great, especially with an Ironclad. Next, we have the Shuriken, uh, our uncommon relic, the first and last of the uncommon relics in this list. Uh, every time you play three attacks in a single turn, you will gain one strength. This is huge if you are trying to strength build for the Ironclad. Uh, you can pair this with a couple of other things, and you'll be looking at overwhelming strength fairly quickly. Uh, this one's a little bit harder to find, but if you do see it, make sure to pick it up. Next up we have Ginger. Uh, this is a rare relic, the first of our rares. Uh, you can no longer become weakened. This relic speaks for itself. Uh, being able to apply weakness and buff yourself without having any kind of interference with that is absolutely busted. If you manage to find the Ginger, pick that up. I don't care what else is offered. Being weakened sucks. Next up, we have the Stone Calendar, our second rare relic. At the end of turn 7, deal 52 damage to all enemies. Yes, that's right. 52 Lumpkin damage to everyone on the board. Uh, aside from yourself, obviously. Uh, the Stone Calendar is another one of those kind of forget about it relics and just let it do its thing in the background. Uh, you will start seeing it pulsate a little bit in your, in your relic bar, letting you know that it's ready to activate. The Red Mask. Now this is an event relic. You cannot buy this. You cannot find this. You have to stumble upon a specific event uh, where you meet with some cultists in a cave. Um, if you have the option, this is a wonderful relic. At the start of each combat, apply one week to all enemies. Uh, this is kind of like the Bag of Marbles where you can apply a debuff straight off the bat, giving yourself a huge, you know what, both feet in the door. Next, we have our first boss relic, which is the Fusion Hammer. You gain energy at the start of your turn, but you can no longer smith at rest sites. Now, not being able to smith is pretty sucky, but having that extra energy, especially with a lot of high-cost cards that the Ironclad is known for, uh, is, is absolutely huge, and there are ways that you can upgrade them without having to do it there. Black Blood is our next boss relic. Uh, it replaces your Burning Blood, which is the starting relic for the Ironclad, where at the end of combat you heal 6 HP. Instead of that, this one allows you to heal 12 HP, which is huge, especially if you end up taking uh, some kind of relic that stops you from being able to heal, or if you're just going full tank uh, and not even worrying about armor, really. You want as much healing in your back pocket as you possibly can have. And our final one on the list is the last boss relic, the Ectoplasm. You gain energy at the start of your turn, but you can no longer gain gold. Now, not having gold can be a problem, but the, it, it, the benefits way outweigh the con. So, 
no more gold, but you have an extra energy to play, again, more of those high cost cards, especially if you pair it with something else that gives you energy. Um, it's just, it's just great. Thank you so much for watching. I will be releasing videos like this for the other classes, as well as some of the top cards in the game to be on the lookout for. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you know when we drop new videos.